What up, my people? It's Big L here, and I just finished reading Ultimate Spider-Man by Jonathan Hickman and Marco Cecchetto, and you'll have to tell you guys, it exceeded my expectations. It had an interesting story, great supporting cast, and a new origin for Spider-Man. I'm excited to see what Hickman has in store for Peter. How are Spider-Man villains going to be introduced in this new world? Will Peter's allies become villains, and vice versa? Will Uncle Ben and Jonah have beef with Kingpin? for starting their own newspaper, and will Spider-Man ever beat the Iron Man Jr. allegations? The man gets his powers from Tony Stark in his universe, and his suit. These are the questions that the readers had after reading that first issue. My people, Hickman has managed to give us what we want for Spider-Man for years. Growth. He has a great marriage, a steady job, no more Parker luck, no more Peter struggling to make the rent, at least for the time being. In my opinion, I think that Ultimate Spider-Man has the potential to replace 616 Spider-Man as Marvel's main web slinger. If sales continue to do well under Hickman's run and readers are enjoying what he's writing, I could totally see that happening. The last couple years haven't been great for 616 Spidey. Zeb Wells, you never seen heaven for this. And it's fuck Paul to this day. To this day! A lot of fans have given up on his run. Hell, some fans have given up after one more day. Marvel now has the perfect opportunity to do something drastic and possibly bring some fans back. Kill Spider-Man. Again. But this time make it permanent. Now hear me out. Like I said earlier, if Hickman continues to give the fans what they want, Ultimate Spider-Man could easily become their Peter Parker. The stories being told over at 616 are not exciting for some readers. Even though I'm interested in Mary Jane becoming Jackpot, I can't wait for the Terry Dawson covers on that one. Both Marvel and fans to start fresh with Ultimate Spider-Man. They could bring in new readers while scaring them off with 60 years of Spider-Man lore. The 616 Spider-Man could be sent off with an epic storyline building up to his death. I got faith in you, Spider-Man editorial. You guys can do it. A broken clock is right twice a day. You guys could give you us one great it. story. Come on. Give us Miles as the main 616 Spider-Man. That way you can have the teenage Spider-Man and the stories that go along with all that. Bring in a younger crowd to get into it. Miles is already a fan favorite. The Into the Spider-Verse movies made him more popular than Peter to some people. Bring that movie fan base into the comics. This could breathe some new life into the 60 plus year old franchise. But yeah, these are just some ramblings of an excited fan. Hickman got me hyped for this new series. Can't wait to see where he takes it. But you never know, maybe Marvel will take a chance to do, so, do something that drastic. It's a perfect way to solve their Spider-Man problems in my opinion. Who knows? Thanks for watching my people. Until next time, peace out.